on. And when this was planned uh, far in advance, my talk with Sandor, and when we realized we had to open tonight to some investors and uh, and some key people in Blue Hills ecosphere, I said, okay, but I'm doing this thing with Sandor because I believe so much both in Sandor Katz, but also in this book of his, which I cannot recommend more. Uh, I loved it. Uh, it's a tour of the world. Uh, and I just can't wait to talk to you about it. So I'm going to launch in with that. Uh, behind me, you might hear some noise and I'm going to take the camera. See, there we are all preparing for this uh, <laughs> first dinner service. And everyone is incredibly confused. And I just walked away. I said, guys, I'll be right back. Um, and here I am talking <laughs> in sandal. Uh, so, you know, feeling very relaxed and uh, great to see you. Okay, well, it's so good to see you, and I feel so, um, um, you know, honored that you're, you know, taking time on this, you know, really um, um, important night. And and yeah. also, I'm just, I'm thrilled that you're um, so enthusiastic about my new book. I love it, and and so I just let's get right into it. I, what, why did you write this book the way you did? And to, uh, you know, I'm not giving anything away, but for those who will, who will read this. Uh, it's a very different Sandor Katz book. It's really, um, it's a travel log. It's an educational manual. It's a history lesson. Uh, and I'm wondering what the process was uh, to do it. But even before that, uh, why write a book like this? Um, and, and why go around the world uh, to deepen your knowledge when you already, by the way, have a huge reservoir of knowledge? Well, um, you know, um... I mean, really, because there, because there's so much interest in fermentation, and um, you know, my earlier books, Wild Fermentation and The Art of Fermentation, you know, kind of came out just as this sort of new wave of interest in fermentation uh, uh, was um, was was emerging, was blossoming, was was growing. Um, you know, I've actually had the you know good fortune of being invited to teach. I mean, I've taught in maybe like 25 countries. And so, you know, most of the foods and beverages that I'm documenting are not so much places that I travel to, to investigate, although there are a few of those, but mostly places where I found myself teaching. But of course, when I'm somewhere teaching, I'm not just teaching, I'm also eating and drinking. Um, and to the extent that I'm able to, I'm, I'm learning about, um, uh, you know, fermentation traditions in, in those places.